your father. Okay.
Okay. The land acknowledgement. The Creator gifted us with this land that we are blessed to share and care for together. The Calgary Catholic School District acknowledges that the land that the land we gather on Mokinstas is the ancestral territory of the Siksika Sitapi. Siksika Guyanai Pekani and Amska P. Pekani. We acknowledge all First Nation and Métis of Treaty 7 lands. The Tsutin and the Ichikabi which includes Bespa, Chiniki, and Good Stony. The Calgary Catholic School District commands to advance in reconciliation, guided by truth, respecting treaty laws, and humbly walking alongside First Nation, Métis, and Inuit. We reconciliate all who work and play on these land and who now call this place home. Sparks, sipping with Sparks nominations. In, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Last day to get your sipping with Sparks <laughs> nominations in to for January. For January, end of January, actually. But, <laughs> well, um, a superhero. Lincoln, <laughs> thank you for the land acknowledgement. Oh that was so, so awesome. We all enjoyed listening to you so much. The enthusiasm. Oh my goodness. I, I wish I could talk that enthusiastic. We enjoyed it so much I downloaded it in case we ever need one in the future. Look at that. You you are like ready on play again, Lincoln. On repeat. All right. Uh, let's uh, recognize that we're in the presence of God and we're going to listen to John take us through prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from 
evil. Our dear Father, our Father. Oh, thank you, John. John, that thank was beautifully you, sung. Oh, my God. The great ones mic drop today. You guys, we got, now everyone else has to catch up to you. We <laughs> sing birthdays. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Today, let's see, today is the second. It is. February so, 2nd. Dorian, it's your birthday today. Yeah, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Grimace is happy for you. And his brother made the... Ah, your the brother slide. Darren oh, made that's the right. slide. He made the, the Hermes and the whole slide. There you go. Now, we also have one on <laughs> Sunday. Isn't there a second one here? There oh, is. there is. Thalia. Thalia. Thalia in Mr. Bedard's class. Yay. That's pretty good. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations on being born. Then, on Sunday, <laughs> we have Hannah in Mrs. Cockford's class. And so, well done, happy birthday, and congratulations. We need some more birthday slides. Oh, okay, we need, yeah, okay, so we're, we're requesting more birthday slides, something different, um, and just, yeah, just to entertain. So we'll get a few more of those students. If you want to throw some of those in, that'd be great. They can send them to their teacher. And send them to the teachers, them. yeah. Uh, okay, why don't we do seven sacred teachings? We'll move to Sounds that. Good. Is that okay? And we're looking at the eagle and love today. The eagle teaches us that to love yourself is to love creator. Love is represented by an eagle. To feel true love is to know the Creator. Therefore, it is expected that one's first love is to be the Great Spirit. He is considered the father of all children and the giver of human life. Love given to the Great Spirit is expressed through love of oneself. And if one cannot love oneself, it is impossible to love anyone else. The eagle was chosen by the Great Spirit to represent this law. As the eagle can reach the highest of all the creations in bringing pure vision to the seeker, the greatest and most powerful medicine. Love can also be the most elusive of the teachings as it depends upon a world that acknowledges the importance of spirituality. A, a strong important lesson good way to start the morning um, black history month began yesterday yeah and so I just see how these sacred teachings mesh with it because for example if Martin Luther King wasn't all about love then I don't know what he was about right. um, and so teachers you have resources available to you also in your staff insights I'm going to be emailing you what's in the learning comments as well so those lessons can be integrated in your teaching today I've got the learning comments on up here too. perfect if you'd like to flash that up again oh there we go thank you again Miss Mayor for putting this together and providing that opportunity for our students awesome. So I think it's stuff that the teachers can do. Teachers can do. There's books that kids can look that all follow the theme. And um, yeah, different focuses on various figures and facts. Yeah, really cool. Cahoots. Quizzes. Oh, cahoots. I love my cahoots. Yes. Uh, and we'll go on to our clubs. Yeah. 
So thank you chess players for joining me in chess yesterday. That was good. We're getting everybody going. Today though, Jedi Club is to meet in Miss Mitchell's Connect at 245. And you're gonna record the Black History Biographies. Miss Mitchell's very excited to see you during Student Connect there. And then we have master classes. Uh, well, before that we're doing winter walk today. Oh yeah. From 12 to 12.45 for our staff. So students, we encourage you to get out there and go for a little bit of a walk. Beautiful weather. Put that in your go get fit. Yeah. Which means there's a couple of clubs that are canceled. So there are some clubs canceled today. So if you had a lunchtime club, uh, that's not happening today, except, well, no, end of the day is 2.45 for Jedi. Yeah. So Jedi's happening. Yeah. yeah. Geography and Minecraft clubs. Geography and Minecraft are canceled today because we're getting out there and getting active, and so should you. Okay? Yeah, it's plus 11 today. Plus 11? Is that what it is? Yes. Wow. So. 11 degrees Celsius. And it's supposed to get colder next week, so now's the time yeah. to get out there. We get enjoy. snow tomorrow. I'm very excited about that. I Sorry. am not. I am. No. It's time for no. skiing again. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, master classes. We're switching over today to your new master classes. So I'm just going to forward warn you, there will be some confusion at times because <laughs> we know between choices and technology and we were on the wrong chart that we, Mrs. Uh, Bizarro keeps us on track That's and, right. and we were in the wrong one. So things like that will happen. Be patient. Today will be one of those, if it, you miss it, you miss yeah. it and I'm sorry and we'll figure it out. <clears throat> Some of the students, um, we're trying to encourage a growth mindset. So that whole idea of taking the same subject that taught, or same option you took, or master class in this case, as you took last time, it's where you're comfortable, but let's try expanding those. So there are lots of other options. We've got, um, you know, we've got some graphic design. We got the, I almost said leadership. It's not leadership, it's learning strategies, which is an option for you to learn how to do, um, how you learn best, but also catch up on more. And some of them are even working with our ELD kids, so kids in other schools with second languages. You're missing those opportunities by not doing those. So I did uh, reach out in the chat to some of you this morning. Please check your chats. If you've already picked the same option twice, and reach out to me, because it's, it's, let's try and look at some opportunities for you to try something different, just for a change. So reach out to me uh, if you got a message from me this morning. And let's try to think of, of, and I gave you the other options of there. So try and expand our, our horizons. Myself, I was like very comfortable in one thing and tech stuff. And then when I took forensic science, I was excited that I did and was scared as I'll get out, but it worked out. <laughs> expand those neurons, grow yes. more dendrites, mm -hmm. try something new. Awesome. I think that's it. That's it. That's a Friday. It's a wrap. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.